Good morning, everyone at home. We are studying this week for Sunday School, Abraham's Call. So out of the Spark Story Bible, we're going to open that up. And it's one day God said to a man named Abraham, it's time for you to leave your home and family and go to a new land. In this new land, I'll give you many things and make sure people know about you. I will be kind to those who are kind to you, and to the ones who are unkind, I will be unkind. And because of you, all the families on earth will be blessed. They have all their camels and sheep with them. Abram was 75 years old and had a long white beard, but he didn't let his age stop him. On this trip, he took his wife, Sarah, and his nephew, Lot, and they walked the many miles leading to new land. It was hot and dusty, but he knew that God was leading them, and it was going to be a beautiful place. It was long and hard because they carried all their pots, pans, dishes, and clothes with them. Phew, I'm hot, said Sarah. I'm getting tired, said Abram, and my feet hurt, groaned Lot. Finally, they came to the land of Canaan, and Abram stopped by a tall, shady tree, and it was good to get out of the sun. God came to him in the cool shade and said, I have a surprise for you. I promise to give this land to your family forever. And Abraham and Sarah and Lot were so thankful. They jumped and danced and hugged and said, hooray. And they wanted to show God how grateful they were. So they decided to build two altars to honor God. One would be of a large, smooth stones and the other with pieces of wood. And so there's the little sheep and then Lot and Sarah and Abram. And they are now in the land of Canaan. So this week at home, if you can take some beads that you have. You could even use straws and cut them up or pasta noodles and make yourself a bracelet or a necklace. And as you put each one of them on, think about what you would take if God called you to the land of Canaan or if you're going to go on a trip, like some of your favorite things, like I'm going to bring my Bible, um, my favorite pair of shoes. Um, I'd like to bring my dog. And so put those beads on and think about the ways that if you were going on a trip, what special things would you take with you? And then pick one of those beads that you'd say, this is me knowing that God is always with me on any trip I take and all through my life. So that would be that project. The other thing we played today, this morning, was the I'm going on a trip game. So we said, I'm going on a trip to Canaan. And then we said, like, I said A for apple, and Amanda said B for banana, and Maya said C for cucumber, and then we repeated those and went all the way to the letter Z and had to remember them all in our memory. So I want you to have a great week, and we don't have Sunday school next Sunday, and we will look forward to seeing you either online like this or in person after that. Look for the sign-ups, and then if you would just pray with me. Dear God, we thank you for being with us in all of our trips of life. Thank you for the story of Abram and the call that he had from God to go to the new place, the land of Canaan. In Jesus' name, amen.